talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. I'm Brett Couch Boy Hanrahan. You need a couch? Ha! Ah! I do need a couch. I just moved into my new house. Ha! <laughs> I threw it at you. Oh. There you go. Oh. And now you're pinned under a couch. Is that is that what you wanted? I mean, I'm pinned under a boy right now. <laughs> you sure are. <laughs> uh, I'm Sam babysitting my little brother, Risley. Oh, and would the little baby brother like to introduce himself? Go ahead and say your name nice and loud, Brody. Oh, okay. <laughs> <He doesn't... laughs> Never mind. <laughs> he doesn't want to, and that's fine. Why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> Hi, I'm Cyan, and I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I really hope the mic picked up <laughs> it, This is a very special, very clean episode that we're doing today Yeah And that's fine because all of our episodes are clean Every single one of them for, Yeah, as it, far really? as this kid knows And we're doing this because our manager contacted us and said Hey, uh, Thought Town is going on TV And we need to find a rating for it and if we want to get you on all the networks we need yeah. to get you a rating that's a little more family friendly yeah much a little cleaner uh so we will be introducing our animal mascots uh throughout the show just to kind of pander to the kids um, we have some dinosaurs that are made out of trucks i wonder how reverby oh it's, ve- it's gonna be very reverb welcome to reverb sauna yeah this is reverb i mean it's better than how like i kept accidentally hitting the desk with my knees last episode and you just hear thunk, thunk, <laughs> thunk, throughout the entire episode nice. yeah, this is this is one of those few episodes where we're all in the same room hey Don, do you want to go do you want to go uh, watch dino trucks in your room buddy yeah yeah this is one of the few episodes okay. that I'll be right back. That you guys keep okay. talking. I'm going to go set up Dino Trucks for Brody. <laughs> one of the special edition episodes in which uh, we all end up in the same place together for once. Uh, out Instead of being in different cities. Because cool. uh, Sam is babysitting his little brother, and that's the only reason he's here for like three days. Because, they boy, they just couldn't find anybody else, huh? And that's just how it is. And so he just came from Denton to Austin. Yep. <laughs> and if there's one thing we know about episodes we do when all three of us are in the same room, they're, they're all good. good. <laughs> <laughs> they're all solid. They're all really good episodes that we put out. <laughs> this time we're stone sober. Well, I guess now I can do the other dream, the uh, original dream. Well, <laughs> all right, Brody's gone and he took the Seahawks blanket with him and now my legs are cold. Uh, well, we have each other to keep them warm. Your hands are like not warm at all. I'm all right. Well, cool. Whoa, Thank you, Sam. Your feet tan is insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> They're like as white as his khaki shorts. <laughs> <laughs> It's not very white, but okay. They're they're the same color they're, though. They are, so, they are so much lighter than the rest of your life. For <laughs> those who don't know, I'm also the darkest member of Thought Sauna. <laughs> well, some areas of you are. <laughs> Certainly not your feet. <laughs> I think I think my feet are as white as you two. No, dude, look, my hand is oh like <laughs> way tanner than I don't know. Let's compare feet, y'all. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, no, okay, it's darker than me, I think. My hand's just like a different color in general. It's not really like, it's just kind of a different color. It's not really lighter or darker. It's just a different. This it's is just a different shade altogether. This is yeah. great for an audio. It media. sure is. We were comparing feet, and that's just that, really, and that's all there is to it. So, without further ado, let's get to our first subject. Uh, Thanks for the call out. <laughs> I, well, I, just, I couldn't wait. <laughs> I, just, I just saw them. We are all. We are all prepared and ready to call out each other on the smallest <laughs> imperfection at any time. And that's what makes us such great friends. <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that every time I see you, I forget you have a tattoo until I see it. I'm like, oh, Cyan, I didn't tell you about the tattoo that I saw. Oh no, you saw a tattoo? So, Brendan, my, my cousin and roommate Brendan and I went to Raising Cane's to get some chicken. We go, we pull up to the window, and there's this, like, old 50 to 60-year-old woman at, taking our, uh, that's like, hey, it'll be 880 for the chicken. And we're like, okay, cool. And I hand her my card, and then I see it tattooed on the inside of her right <laughs> forearm. Right. I see it. 
it's the Minecraft logo. <laughs> 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 it's just straight up got Minecraft it's on it. Straight up, it straight up said Minecraft in the blocky letters and with the creeper face and like the A oh and my. everything. Just on just, her arm. Just whole hog. And, and honestly, I would kill for a world where the majority of Minecraft players is like 50 to 60 year old women. Yeah. <laughs> the game would be changed. The game would absolutely be changed. It would be a much better game. What would they be building? What would they even build? Really nice houses. Just, yeah. just nice houses. Just really, really, really nice houses with big yards. Yeah. <laughs> with they, like ponds in them and stuff. They wouldn't be trying to do. what I would be doing. They wouldn't be trying to do anything ridiculous like do they'd a one-to-one one version build of They'd scale building. models of their house and then use that to try and figure out interior decorations for it. I've done that. In I've Minecraft? built. I've built a scale model of my house and then went inside of it when it was empty and decided, okay, what could I do to this house to make it cooler? Hmm. Um, and then... Lots of Endermen. Yeah. Yeah, you just put a bunch of <coughs> zombies in there. And that's it. Apparently there are zombie babies in the game now. Brett and I saw this yeah. while we were going through the Lego aisle in Walmart last night. Yeah, they're terrifying yeah. and they suck. I feel there like is... that was a story mode addition. There was a time... Um, it wasn't. There was a time where I played Minecraft again recently um, for like two months, uh, right before I moved out of my last apartment. I, I play, I've played pro in the past like year, probably about two hours of it. Yeah. Ugh. We should all just really get super back into Minecraft, y'all. Like, it, the game itself is not bad, it's just, it's, it's gotten a, a rep. Yeah. It, everything now that's popular just has a crappy fandom and crappy rep about it, and that sucks. And that's kind of why I just don't participate in fandom. Because, uh, man, I tried to with the Dragon Age fandom, and I love those games still, but man, I stay out of that. That Dragon Age drama. Man, the Dragon <laughs> Age tea. <laughs> the only thing I will fight anyone on is... If you're into Dragon Age, I'll fucking kill Solus. That egg deserves to be cracked. Okay. Very we're seven cool. and a half minutes into this episode. I'm going to just say my thing, okay. and we're just going to start it like that. And it's seven mm. and a half. All right, here we go. Uh, this one comes from at the Weird World on mm -hmm. Twitter. And it says, A black cat crossing your path is actually good luck on account of you get to see a cat. Yeah. <laughs> good post, OP. Yeah. yeah that's a good one. You know, what... What, what, Sam, I'm sure you know this. How did black cats, like, become bad luck if you crossed them? I think it had something to do with a witch's familiar. Mm -hmm. I believe. I could be wrong. But, uh, it's interesting because, like, uh, the reason cats are seen as, like, very common imagery in wit it, with witches is because, like, the people who thought were thought to be witches or did, really did keep cats. Specifically because the, the, like, legend of the witch comes from ancient Brewsters. B like, people that made beer? Yeah. What? Beer was traditionally made by women. Bro Brewsters. Bro Brewsters. <laughs> yo, we're the Brewsters. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> <laughs> You don't fuck about it? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> beer was traditionally made by women. But, but uh... I mean, because it and they would like brew it, and they'd actually they would actually wear the like tall pointy hat to like stand out in a crowd when they're trying to sell stuff. So that's where the tall pointy hat comes from. And they that the boiling cauldron is because they were brewing beer, and then like the broom is because they'd have like a stick of whatnot to help stir it, and then they needed uh, cats to keep mice out of like the wheat that they would use to distill it. Man, this is the strangest. Like connection of two dots. This is that was the worst game of telephone. When two, when <laughs> no one just like told the other like Brewster, magic witch, and they like somewhere down the line those got intermixed and just completely transformed. Supposedly, another thing is that beer when it was made by Brewsters was a lot sweeter, <clears throat> and then uh, when. Uh, monks started making it and taking it away from taking it away from Brewsters. Um, they changed the ingredients so that way, when their uh, when members of the monastery drank it, it would kill their libido and also gave it a bitter taste. 
How? Because why? they wanted they, they wanted their uh, why would they do that? They wanted their monk. They wanted their they wanted their monks to stay pious. Uh, I guess you're right. Does does beer kill your libido? I didn't know that. Have you never heard of whiskey dick? Well, I know whiskey dick, but that I I well I I don't know, man. I don't think it like l- actually killed libido. I think they just were like. It destroyed the libido yeah. toxins. Yeah. It's just like, it, I think it was more of just like, if they drank too much, they couldn't get it up, and then they couldn't have sex, so they stayed pure. <laughs> but they were drunk, right? Pro- probably. <laughs> Dude, like, ancient monks go hard, man. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. They got high off their own supply. <laughs> they, they freaking got drunk, and they... They just couldn't get it up, so I guess I'll go back to praying. Or now something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna also say I have n- like no qualifications to like for people to like use me as a like source, as a source of an argument. Of about yeah. information. I could absolutely be wrong about all this. This is just stuff I have read over my 22 years of existence. Well, I think we learned a lot. And I hope it's all true, because otherwise I'll feel like a fucking idiot. Yeah, especially with your Sam's Education Corner <laughs> and the little, little thing up should, there. Should we make, like, a jingle for it? A little jingle t- for a Sam's It happened so often that at this point we should, right? I guess so. If we have a slide for it. Like, every time, every time I'm like, fun facts, you guys just, like, knock me out for a few seconds and just start singing a jingle and then, uh, then like, shake me awake and I'm like, I resume the fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we gotta knock you out? Because otherwise I'm gonna like not stop. Yeah, going. He's just, you're just not gonna stop talking. Yeah. Well, Sign and I will come up with that in secret. Yeah, and you will hear maybe different prototypes of it. Yeah, <laughs> you'll hear a couple different like, versions before we get the true. God, product. didn't we have like a jingle? For we did have me? a. We did have a hey, Sam, Sam theme song. Sam, 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 Sam. Yeah. I hate that all of us <laughs> <laughs> Well, see, here's the thing, is that it was a really good jingle. <laughs> God, we would sing that shit in the cul-de-sac all the time. Seriously. Wasn't there, like, a verse to it or something? We did. We did have, like, a verse. We did start, like, applying the lyrics to it, but I don't remember any of them. Man, I... Or if it had, like, a different rhythm or not. <clears throat> if we could go back in time... I would. I would love If we could turn it. back time, to the good old days. And All right, with Sam. With that, with that, <laughs> let's friggin' tricycle into the next segment. I so guess. Who's gonna be that? Do you want to like? Since we're like right here, should we rock paper scissors for it? Yeah, let's do it. Physical right. rock paper scissors happening one, right in front of my two, eyes. Three. Oh wait, are, are we doing? Oh, okay. one, two, three, shoot. Okay, sign one with rock. What is that? Do, what do it me. <laughs> Round two. Wait, who, wait, is, wait, who went? <laughs> Round two. Is entertain it, me. Is it, is it winner goes first? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, Cyan loses. Sam wins with paper. A third round. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. They tied with rock. Another. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Oh, Sam wins with paper. Sign goes. Oh, <laughs> so Cyan, you're up first. I've decided <laughs> that Sign will go. Y'all are gonna hate this at oh, first. Oh boy. And probably all the way through. It's not that bad, but when I first mention it, y'all are gonna have some memories, and that will Uh-oh. deter you. Memories okay. are easily the most terrifying thing I have. <laughs> okay, so it starts off. Um, Jesus. <laughs> this is a question on Quora.com. Like Legend of Quora? Yeah. Like Quora no, Digest? Like Q-U-O-R-A. Oh, yeah. Um, open an app or sign in. Neither which which I will do. Uh, someone asked a question, do you remember any dreams you had as a child? <laughs> Eric Freyer says, I was once a child. <laughs> when I was really young. <laughs> when I was really young, I used to have this recurring dream about E.T. Well, it was more like a nightmare, and it lasted for years. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait. Just hold your horses Whoa. now. Okay. We're not having a. F- is it? Are you doing it? Is it again? Is it happening again? No, I told you that once I started, it would deter y'all because of memories. But we're not doing the ET dream again. Okay. This no is one. a different dream. I was about to be like, oh man, I've actually been stuck in Night Vale now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch Night Vale someday, Sam. Yeah, buddy. 
Okay. Nope. <laughs> there, there's a there's a technical out. malfunction. That's okay. We can pause here, or we can fill in with some if we have any interesting conversation. You ever think about the Alamo? She did. So we talked about the Alamo for 15 minutes until we realized the conversation was pretty boring. Sam finally got back from helping Brody, and he and Cyan started a conversation about BoJack Horseman that lasted for about half an hour. Brett had no knowledge, reference, or interest in the conversation. So finally, he got the gang back on track. And the BoJack talk stops now. God, we just went off a tangent for half an hour about BoJack I'm, Horseman. I'm back. I fixed Brody's iPad. To, I, well, it's Mel's iPad that he watches Netflix on. And he got, and Sam got a job interview. I did. All in the, like, tw- 20 minutes it took me to figure out that damn thing. <laughs> and Cyan and I's conversation uh, slowly, well, very quickly, went from talking about the Alamo to Bojack Horseman. Yeah. And then Sam and Cyan talked about Bojack Horseman for about half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and boy, did it not put that show in a better light for me. <laughs> <laughs> I am not more ready to watch that show than we'll I watch ever it after have been. we record. Yeah, we're gonna watch it after this episode. Anyway, awesome. I have a dream though. Yes. Um Alright, so it lasted for years, I already got through that. So let's start with the dream itself. You would chase me around my childhood home and terrorize me. Trapped me in my closet, grabbed my feet from under the bed. It was horrible. But for no good reason, one night I decided to be brave and I turned around and looked him dead in the eyes. I remember vividly smacking him in the face with my favorite toy, the Red Power Ranger doll. Yes, this was the 90s. Surprisingly, he didn't gobble me up, didn't drag me into the deep depths under my He's bed. He's like, I respect your power and <laughs> courage. <laughs> and definitely did not lock me into my dark closet and throw away the key. He yelped and scurried away, off into the darkness, to the blurry edges of my dream world. After that night, I never had the dream again. <gasps> oh my god. This, this was up. E.T. teaching this kid how to stand up for himself. This was Nightmare on Elm Street yeah. happening. <laughs> <laughs> E.T. is trying to teach this kid how to be a stronger person and find power through their Power Rangers. I just, like, for years this kid had this dream. Up until this kid is like, I'm tired of this. <laughs> this kid was like so I'm done when did this kid break I wonder like how old do you think he was do you think he was like four and he was like alright that's years enough. enough or like he was like nine. I like to imagine him like taking the Power Rangers doll and like smashing it over a corner like a glass and then like pulling and it just the turns into a shank yeah <laughs> okay but another thing that I imagined was when he was like E.T. grabs me by the legs and then drags me and I was like okay so this is just him like watching the alien movie with the xenomorphs but replacing it with E.T. and then I got the really bad thought of like what if oh no <laughs> you know where I'm going yeah and I hate it what if everything in the alien movies with the xenomorphs is exactly the same Except when they open their mouths, instead of, like, the regular tongue they have, it's just E.T.'s head that extends out. Uh, See, I was picturing is the movie E.T., and E.T. opens his mouth, and another smaller <laughs> E.T. comes out of his mouth. Oh, man, that's worse. That's worse. See, I was imagining E.T. is just terrorizing this kid, and the alien comes out. <laughs> I like that. I, I like that. I was like, you know where this is going. And you're like, yeah, yeah. And then we all <laughs> we three all had, went on different. We all had different interpretations. But all of, of them, it. all of them were vaguely similar. <laughs> it all had to do with the mouth. It was yeah. just like three different like for directors' just, movies of this book. It was all just di- several different iterations of like a way an alien could come out of another alien's mouth. <laughs> Oh god. If if this kid had ever seen Alien, when did Alien come out? Like 80s, I think. The 80s, yeah, okay, Shrek. so it was out. If if he had ever did see Alien, I don't think he would have stood a chance. Mhm. If he saw like if he saw that and like imagine ET having those alien yeah, characteristics moves, like yeah, mm-hmm. it wouldn't happen. Oh man. Done. Could you imagine ET scuttling on the ceiling and spitting? Yeah. <laughs> oh, scuttling on the ceiling is a terrible phrase. Oh. October twenty fifth, nineteen seventy nine, is when Alien came out. So that would all right. But okay, I would also like to bring up another like Alien ET crossover. Yeah. Chestbursters, but it's ET that pops out. Uh. No, that was gonna be the next thing. <laughs> uh. 
Would that? It like, like pops out and goes, phone home. And you're like, <laughs> well, we're not going to talk about that part of E.T. <laughs> we, we're not going to go there. You knew, you knew when you picked E.T. as a subject that there was a, <laughs> this was a minefield. Yeah, I knew that it was like a very dangerous like road what? to go down and I was hoping that it wouldn't get I just, terrible. I got to ask the question, why is it that E.T. is the thing that brings out like our worst ideas? <laughs> <laughs> why is it specifically E.T.? him <laughs> he's just the worst in every aspect <laughs> can we go to that mall that sells like the figures and the oh, no. store has the oh, et God. figure that we no. can buy for like 300 bucks i have 300 bucks i no. sure don't for him no <laughs> not for ET. i don't have i don't have money for et i have zero dollars to spare i ET think related anything i think like our like connection to et is we're just viscerally afraid of him like, i think so too i think we should have like... a thoughts on an episode where we just go into our fears we... about et <laughs> We have immersion therapy where we just like watch ET. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, I don't. Let's watch ET. Let's Here's do, the thing. Let's do like a Twitch stream of us watching e. ET. And all of us like, oh man, and just saying the worst things and being like, oh, because now every time I think of ET, all I can think of is the awful things we have talked about about ET. Yeah, we we can do it like this. We can do it like we are definitely afraid of the dark, which is another podcast. We could just spend the, kind of the first half of the episode talking about, you know, our feelings going into watching E.T. Yeah. And the second half, you know, talking about what we experienced during watching E.T. And we could just kind of have that whole thing going and okay. just kind of try to get our deepest feelings a thought that we've stuck hidden away. So you're thinking a thoughts on a special two-part series <laughs> Yeah. that we dedicate two weeks to. One week to talking about our pre-ET viewing. No, it'll be one episode. It'll just be like maybe an hour 15. long or yeah. something. Oh, okay. It'll or, be a very yeah. special episode. Okay, next, Okay. yeah, next time we all get in the same room, let's, that'll be our special. Yeah. It's, don't hold y'all's breath. <laughs> it's not going to be soon. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we're having this, this close of an episode that we're all in the same yeah. room. Right. To the last one. This is already something of a miracle. Yeah. Okay. Honestly. I've got my wall pulled up. <clears throat> well, it looks like you're pulling it up. Well, I've got it pulled up now. Okay. This one comes... The last segment <laughs> will be revealed oh, now. Oh, by the way, I think I've got an outro for us. Ooh. Oh, okay. Or at least for this episode. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, but this one comes to us from the Philippines... Oh, wow. Uh, you can be charged with the crime of unjust vexation for vexing someone. <laughs> unjust vexation, huh? What, do, do, you, do you have an exact definition of what that is? It's ex like, I, I looked into the text of the law and there's no, like, specifics about it. Okay. What? It just says an unjust vexing can result in, like, arrests. And my thing is, it might be because it's translated to English that maybe we lose something, but also, that's super vague. Like, a guy could be like, a pox upon you. And you'd be like, huh, huh. <laughs> what, do you what do you define as vex, as a vex, as vexing? I don't know, man. But, like, the gypsy vex hexes, like, you know... And I don't mean like gypsy in the derogatory term. I mean like in the culture of like gypsyism, I think it is. I don't know what it's called. But like the purely the, how they vex people is purely through power of suggestion. You like the words have power and by speaking them, it gives the universe the power to do what they speak of. Before I do what I was about to do, which is look up the term to use that way that we know it. Mm -hmm. uh, I just had to look at the face of the okay, image just, that they put on the oh page. no it's, just ET. it's terrible anyway i but yeah like gyp a lot of it a lot of it like in terms of like the gypsy clans i want to say uh is that um romani romani okay uh it's through the power of suggestion Simply, like, like they said simply through speaking the words that puts the energy into the universe for that to happen so they simply like you could look at if how a curse would work is like you look at someone and go a curse upon you for your transgressions and by simply putting that energy out into the universe it happens yeah 
And that's what you're considering as vexing. I mean, te- they, it's so vague, it could be. I, I thought vex had a different definition, was make someone feel annoyed. Oh, no, that's like the English, that's like the just like... Are you thinking about hexen? You yeah. said hex. No, vex... Did you just get it wrong? Is it... Did you... You just... The definition of vex is to make someone feel annoyed, frustrated, or worried, especially with trivial matters. You're, you're just thinking of the term hex, which is like to put a spell on somebody. <laughs> you literally said the word hex! <laughs> I thought, I thought they were unchangeable. And that's the show. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. That's it. We don't need any more. We don't need to record any more episodes ever. And that's like the <laughs> series finale. This whole time you were saying that, this whole time, I was going through my entire history of life and all all the interactions I've had with the word vex. And I, 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 I couldn't I couldn't 100% be confident that oh, I wasn't shit. wrong. I know why. Why? Because it, it's thought, one letter off? I thought for the longest time, for the longest in time. Scooby-Doo, I thought the Hex Girls were the Vex Girls. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> now I see I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the Vex Girls would be a terrible, terrible name for a group. <laughs> these are, You're going to get annoyed at these chicks. They're going to piss you off. Come on. Come on. See them. <laughs> the the Vex girls. So anyway, do you want to reread the law now with this new context, and then we can? It's a, it's illegal to vex someone. Yeah, that's that's it, right? It's, you, a, it's you illegal. Just can't, to, you, you just can't, can't be annoying. You just can't piss someone off, which is that's a good law. Just yeah. Don't be annoying. I mean, it's good, but I don't know if I'd be able to abide by it. No, I would definitely not be able to abide by that law. I, I, my, my very existence as being alive as a person pisses a good number of people off. Same. Yeah. Just yeah. simply being alive pisses off. Brett, Brett came to my dad's house the other day. He knows exactly what Brett was, oh Brett was telling God. me about this on the drive over here. No, my dad loves me very much. We just have this habit of picking on each other, I and Brett was unaccustomed to it. Yeah, I get in the, and Brett was like, when was the last time we saw Tim's dad? And I was like, oh, it's been a while. And he's like, he's just a jerk. <laughs> no. My, my dad is extremely nice. We just pick on each other, Sam, and that's how he bonds. Sam, Sam, are you okay? We were in your house, and for five minutes straight, your dad was slam dunking you for every little flaw you had. <laughs> and you were saying nothing back. I don't know what you think, like... Picking on each other means, <laughs> but it's usually not one-sided and and just roasting you. I think it's funny. <laughs> Do you think that he's like genuinely like I hate you and these are my complaints and you're just like <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just like haha. It's funny that you didn't say no. These my dad is really nice to me. We should edit this out in case he hears. Nope, <laughs> I'm keeping Keep, this in. Keeping it in, oh, but we understand the relationship. Does at this, least I do. Does this vex you, Sam? Does this conversation vexation <laughs> you? Will this vex your dad if he hears it? Will he be vexed? <laughs> I think my dad will be very entertained by the way you called it slam dunking. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it was. <laughs> like, the only reason we went to his dad's house was to get his card so that Sam could, like, get the warranty on his tire so he could patch up a tire. And that wh- that was the only reason we were there. And then we were there for five minutes and Sam was just getting roasted the entire time. <laughs> and... It, it, <laughs> We just needed to get the car to get out, <laughs> and that was it. I genuinely had a good time. I like seeing my dad. <laughs> uh, she's just beligious, <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, who was the dude who was just so annoying that they literally made a <laughs> law about? <laughs> I was just I was like, that. where are you going with this? And then you like went back to the law and I was like, oh right, Sam's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> there was well there was one dude. There was just like one dude. One dude who pushed it too far. Who pushed it too far. And like did the thing where where you put your finger like right yeah. by someone's face and you say their name. I was gonna say it can't be anything like super big because this law happened a while ago and people got pissed off by the stupidest things, like even just like ten yeah, years but- ago. Oh, did it stop? 
<laughs> but you know, like even like ten years ago, just calling someone a nincompoop would like make them oh, go yeah. off their rocks. You know, they would just be like, if you like took your gloves off at someone. Or something. If you, would buy, be if you bit like, your thumb at someone, this dude. That, that would be like dishonoring their entire out. family heritage. It's like y'all need to chill. The first out. scene of Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, that just that mess. That guy literally just the Leonardo bit DiCaprio his, version. Well, of course, the only true version. The of only Romeo real and Juliet depiction of that story is the Leonardo DiCaprio version, Roadside Romeo. Yeah. And Romeo and Juliet. Yes. Have you seen that movie? No. That's fine. It's probably this. It's probably good. It's probably the same. <laughs> uh, this is a good time to talk about today's sponsor. It's Alpha and Omega 6 Dino Digs. Specifically. Specifically, that film um, is sponsoring us today. If you want to go watch that film right now, use promo code SANA. Get 20% off streaming, renting, and buying. Uh, that is thoughtsana.com slash Alpha and Omega with code word SANA. Another sponsor we have today is socks the entirety of socks just all of them if you go to any store online or in person and use the code word cyan brett and sam then you will get 10 percent off those are socks. all spaced all uppercase properly we we got to do the grammar right yeah we can't just give it to you easy can't just do cyan brett and sam no spaces we're very clear about that but yeah it, you, you go to any store even physical and you just say Cyan, Brett, and Sam, and they'll just give you the socks. Yeah. They'll just give you the socks. It's a weird deal we got. Yeah. All right, so that's it for our sponsorships. Um, and now we will zoom back to the rest of the episode. All right, back to the regularly scheduled program. Hi. 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 <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> Pretty good. He, he finished Dino Trucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I mean, there was only like an episode. There was only like an episode left. So did you put on BoJack? No, I put on uh, Chuck and Friends. Chuck, Chuck and friends? friends? No, Chuck, like a ch Chuck the Truck or something. Put on Chuck oh, okay. and Friends. My brother is four. Up Chuck the Truck. <laughs> put on. Chuck I think that's play. all the time we have this week. <laughs> is it? Uh, oh, what's your what's your outro? You said you had a do I do I do my thing first or do yeah you? do your thing? Okay, you can find thoughts on on Gmail, Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Spotify, iTunes, everywhere you find your podcasts. Libsyn, you can find it on the Google Store. Go to Apple Store. Physical, we'll be there. We'll, we'll just be, be at there the Apple at store. the Apple Store. I work there selling MacBooks. That's right. I will promote the MacBook Air to you. Yes, it came out in 2017. It's still a good computer. It's fine, okay? It's still it's I'm still fine. Myself. He's doing a lot of stretches for this outro he's yeah, going to do. Yeah, it's pop time. Send us your laws, your thoughts, <clears throat> your dreams. We will gladly take them. Uh, and thank you for watching. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's grabbed the mic. No. Oh, boy, this is terrible audio. Don't do it. Get something to say. Yeah, can't. <laughs> you can't do it. A recreation. You find yourself in a dark room. It's warm, damp. There's a dripping sound. You can't tell where it comes from. It's too dark, pitched black even. No one knows. Sweat drips down your forehead. Bring a towel. Thoughts on it. Was that? Welcome to Night Vale, but thoughts on it. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. You know. That's literally what that was. <laughs> bye, bye, bye.